Hello guys, welcome again in data structure learning series. Today in this video, we are going to learn the concept of bubble shot. So in Go language. So before starting a coding, just we understand the concept how we perform bubble shot. This is a famous website programmers.com. We show programmers.com. Here we have the excellent representation bubble shot so this particular algorithm we will implement in go language so first of all we have to understand here we have the array in this array we have to search we have to check the element 0 and the 1 that if there is a greater number or not if the 0 position number is greater than the position number of 1 then we do swap so here we see that the second number is greater so we are not doing any swapping then again we go to the next step the 45 and 0 that means the position of 1 and the position of 2 we compare and here we see that the number is greater than the position number of 2 that's why we make a swapping so after swapping we have the 0 at the position of 45 and 45 at the position of 0 again we check the elements and we found that 45 is greater than 11 so we do swapping next time we post we have this array we have swap the 11 and 45 and at the last of this we swap the with the 9 so at the end of one iteration the one loop we have the largest element of the array at the end of the array you see the 45 is on at the end now we start second position and we reduce the size of the array from the 45 to suppose the array is 1 2 3 4 5 so we just reduce the size to 4 because this is this is fixed 45 is the greatest one so we would not check this one later on and now we here in second iteration again we perform the first element to second element if the element found greater than this then we swap so here minus 2 is less than 0 so no swapping next time 0 11 then no swapping next time 11 and minus 9 so my 11 is greater than minus 9 so we do swapping so at the 11 now at the end of the loop is at the second last position that is the fixed position that means this is the less than 45 and greater than all the element of the array again we perform the same step but here we perform in three elements only like this and we have minus 2 minus 9 and 0 then again we perform the step and we found that minus 9 is greater less than the minus 2 so at the last we have the sorted array so this is the way to you can say make an algorithm and to make a code for bubble show the same code same concept we are going to implement in go language so this concept you can learn from Fogramis.com website that is explained the steps is clearly explained in this website again again I'm mentioning this concept because here we have a very good explanation of bubble shot so you can understand the uh, concept of bubble shot by picture by the you can say the images is excellently explained in this website but the coding is not available on this website so I'm just making a coding in go language so here we have a bubble shot dot go and i just create a package first of all main and then i create a main function here i create the items which i want to perform shorting and here i pass any number of element which i have So these are the items those are available in array now I display uh, this element before shorting I say print ln items and the same I print after shorting so you can check that shorting is performed now I have to call a method we can say bubble short I will make this here I pass the items so now I create this function also I say fun 
bubble short and here we have items of int type like this now i perform the algorithm so i have for loop and i see i is starting from zero i less than the length of the items okay then i plus plus then i start for loop and j is also starting from uh, zero and j is less than length of items minus i and minus one j plus plus because every time we are reducing the size of the array and one element less than the size of the array now i check if the element which i'm searching is on j position is greater than the items that is available on j plus one position that means we have to make a swapping because the smallest index element is the largest one so we create a variable temp and here i pass the value of items i items and then i pass the items i with the sorry this is item j and i just pass the item of j plus 1 to the j and items j plus 1 would be swept by the temp so like this we have the algorithm now i try to check it to execute it so go run bubble short so fmt is not defined so i have to import fmt once again i run you see so automatically we having the bubble short implementation and we have a shorted array if i change the array like this this is the largest element so i just reduce this and here i set some other elements like this and i try to execute it you see that at the last we have a greatest element and the beginning we have a smallest element so successfully we are implementing the bubble short using go language so if you really like this video you have learned something from this video kindly do subscribe my channel and thank you for watching this video Thank you.